Welcome to 3 Minute Thursdays. 3 Minute Thursdays are a short breakdown of topics that you will see within your flight training here at UND. The goal is for you, the student, to have a better understanding of what it takes to become a safe, professional pilot. My name is Tyler Lauer. I'm the lead flight instructor at UND Aerospace. Entering and exiting the traffic pattern can seem a bit confusing. In the past few weeks, we have seen an uptick in improper entry and exit procedures, causing some near misses. However, when we combine what the FAA and UND says, you really only have two options for entry and one for departure. While entering the pattern at an uncontrolled airport, we must reference the Airplane Flying Handbook for correct procedures. Today, we will focus on two methods that UND has advised you to use. These are entering 45 degrees to the midfield downwind and a teardrop entry. The 45 degree entry into the downwind is the easiest way to enter the traffic pattern. You can use this method if the wind direction is known. When entering the pattern from the downwind side, you simply maneuver the aircraft so that you are lined up 45 degrees from the downwind leg, enter at the midfield point, and at traffic pattern altitude. To enter the traffic pattern from the upwind side, you will need to utilize the teardrop entry. The Airplane Flying Handbook says to cross over midfield at least 500 feet above traffic pattern altitude. When clear of the traffic pattern, approximately 2 miles, descend to pattern altitude, then turn to enter the midfield downwind at 45 degrees, just as you are entering from the downwind side. The direction of your turn depends on which direction the traffic pattern is. If you are flying a left-hand traffic pattern, you will execute a right-hand turn. If the traffic pattern is to the right, you will execute a left-hand turn. As a friendly reminder, if you have more than one airplane entering the traffic pattern at the same time, the airplane entering via the standard 45-degree entry will have the right-of-way. You may have to adjust your speed to allow for traffic flow. Be sure to communicate with each other to safely sequence yourselves into the traffic pattern. To exit the traffic pattern, the Airplane Flying Handbook gives us one option. Depart on the upwind. If you need to turn, you will turn 45 degrees into the direction of the traffic pattern when arriving at traffic pattern altitude. It is crucial that these procedures are followed, especially when operating in a satellite airport in the Grand Forks area. We operate around a very high volume of traffic. We need to ensure that everyone is flying in a predictable manner to keep everyone safe. Therefore, always enter the traffic pattern at a 45 degree angle to the downwind. This can be accomplished by either entering directly 45 degrees into the downwind or by overflying the airport 500 feet above the traffic pattern and utilizing the teardrop entry. Exiting will always be on the upwind. Follow these easy procedures and keep our skies safe. Thank you for watching 3 Minute Thursdays. If you have a topic that you would like to see covered, please comment below. Remember, fly safe and we'll see you on the flight line. I <laughs> the thing. <laughs>